Well, they're the light-fingered letterbox bandits rifling through suburban mailboxes searching for anything of value. Well, tonight, we catch an organised gang in the act. Can you help ID them before they steal someone else's identity? Oh, I think he's got some keys. He seems to be opening a box and then opening another box and then looking into everybody's boxes. Just think of all the personal information you receive in your letterbox. Bank statements, legal documents, credit cards. Well, this is where modern fraudsters are making a mint. In a couple of minutes, they've got all the information they need to compile a complete profile on you, and then they can steal your identity and your money. There's no need for anyone today to rob a bank, really, because there's too much information out there that people discard in their, in their garbage bins or leave um, pretty poorly attended in their letterboxes. Tonight, though, these letterbox bandits are caught in the act. We'll show you how they work, who they are, and hopefully you can help us track them down. There are 66 mailboxes at this location. It's pretty much an identity thieves dream. And in the last few months, it's been hit by organised gangs on numerous occasions. They come in pairs. One watches on while the other rifles through the boxes. They've got a master key in hand. And once they've got the information they want, there's a quick exit out the back gate. It's them. I'm sure of it. I think they're back. They are. It's them. Watch how they go about their business. This man has a female friend keeping an eye out as he peeks into each of the mailboxes. When he moves on to the other side, you can see he has some sort of master key that opens several of the boxes. But a lot of them simply have envelopes sticking out and they are a cinch to steal. What were the guys doing? Well, basically they were just saying, look, there's, there's stuff hanging out of, the, out of the box, so they just pull it out, look and see what's all. This is from the bank. Is it a bit of a worry? Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, the first guy is white T-shirt, very overweight, large, uh, Greek, Italian, Lebanese maybe. A number of suspects have been captured on camera here. This pair has the exact same modus operandi. And once they have the mail they want, there's a getaway car on standby. Clearly, business is booming if they're getting around in a Lexus four-wheel drive. Identity crime is uh, uh, the crime of the century, really. It's, uh, it's growing. A lot of organised crime groups have realised that it's lucrative, there's a lot of money in it. This afternoon, Cole Dyson, the head of the New South Wales Fraud Squad, came to view the evidence at our offices. Is it quite normal that a unit block would be targeted by a number of groups? Um, yes, uh, they have a lot of post office, uh, or a lot of letter boxes to pick from. What they're seeking is enough information to be able to masquerade as the, as the person who holds all these accounts and go into a bank and say, I need a loan or um, I need uh, money from the account. The detective superintendent says identity theft is a rapidly increasing business that's costing Australians more and more each year. We have heard figures uh, in the region of one and a half billion dollars, that's nationally. Um, identity crime is growing all the time, there are different forms, as technology improves it creates more opportunities for criminals. Criminals have always been trying to get money out of banks and get money off of people. Um, the ID theft, online um, fraud and those sorts of things, they're just the, the modern version of that if you like. Stephen Munchenberg is the chief executive of the Australian Bankers Association. He says to counter the growing number of gangs out there these days, every financial institution now has its own security department. You saw I let me in? It's the banks that mostly end up footing the bill if your account is hacked into by fraudsters, but they still urge you to take responsibility for keeping an eye on your safety and privacy. More and more people are getting their statements online and that is a good way of making sure that they're harder to access for people. And the other thing that customers should do for all sorts of fraud is just keep a close eye on your bank account. And if you ever see something that looks suspicious or you don't understand, get in contact with your bank straight away. A devious person can get a, a complete profile and probably enough to get 100 points just out of your mailbox. Security consultant Warren Mallard from Lionswood Investigations has looked into mailbox bandits before. What they would do is they'd come in the dead of night and they would uh, use the keys to open up the letterboxes and they were systematically taking out the mail. They'd actually been able to get a hold of a set of master keys through a former employee of a real estate agency to uh, facilitate that. 
He says the other thing to be wary of is putting your personal documents in the rubbish. That's another hot spot for identity thieves to plunder. If they don't want to rifle through the mailbox, they just rifle through your garbage bin. Um, they'll get the information one way or another unless you are very diligent about your letterbox and about your garbage bin. Over the last couple of years at ACA, we've met plenty of people that have been done over by identity thieves. Someone got these details off that and racked up a hundred grand odd within a week. I'm the victim here, but uh, the police, ASIC, etc., all believe that uh, I'm the genuine person who's committed all this. And now we want to catch these guys before they strike near you. Police are promising to come down hard. There's new provisions now, uh, identity uh, crime related uh, provisions that uh, provide for a 10 year offence. So they're very serious offences uh, and these people could be looking at that type of penalty. But one resident says he has a better idea for dealing with them. Our punishment regime has lost a lot of its impact since we got rid of the stocks and rotten tomatoes. Fabulous idea. Parade people up and down the streets with a placard saying, I am a male thief. Let's try and stop them. As Tom said, if you recognise anyone in the story, call Crime Stoppers or simply get in touch with us here at ACA.